I will advise you that if you are in that courtroom, uh, because I have put you there and you have not reclaimed uh, the right to be present by number one, asking, and then um, expressing a willingness to conduct yourself consistently with the quorum and respect inherent in the concepts of courts and judicial proceedings, you will remain over there. And it looks like he took his headphones off, so I would. Mr. Brooks, I'm advising you that if you fail to call a witness, you will forfeit your right to pr present any additional witnesses. And I'm doing this outside the presence of the jury right now for a reason. I need to know from you right now, you are unmuted. Who is your next witness? Is she trying to say something to me? Yeah. What you trying to say? That was very disrespectful, sir. You chose to take off your headphones. You yeah, choose to I'm read. I'm muted. I'm muted. So why, why am I going to have my headphones on and I'm muted? Well, I would think your headphones help you hear. The they muting do. is so that I don't have to hear the disruptions. Okay, well, then why should I need to hear what so you So let saying? me be clear, sir. And you, you are not. be clear or nothing. I don't got to listen to you. I will ask you one last time, sir. Who is your next witness? First of all, is she talking to me again? Yeah. He, so this, we, gotta keep doing, we gotta keep doing this little childish stuff, dude. I gotta sit up here and I'm supposed to abide by every single rule, but don't nobody else gotta do that. The record should Judicial reflect that Mr. Repeatedly. Brooks is spouting off making unsubstantiated yeah. the can allegations against this court, Unless directly attacking the integrity of this court and these proceedings, while yet refusing no to answer simple no, no questions. Integrity. Mr. Brooks, you That's are- That's not my name. I told you I don't consent to being called that name. Sir, you are hereby advised this is the last time I will ask this question don't, don't talk or you will like forfeit your right to present you any what, additional show me what, show me, witnesses show me where that's law. because show you are where not cooperating law. with this process. Show me that it's law. That's all I'm asking. Show me that it's lawful law. Mr. Brooks. How can, how can I forfeit not being able to have a defense? Are you kidding me? All I'm asking is that you conduct yourself with dignity with decorum and with respect. I will okay. gladly bring you back into this courtroom so you can present your additional witnesses. You're but right. you need to ask me to come back into this courtroom. With all due respect. I'm tired of having this back and forth with you every day. It's not my intention to it's come in here and, come and, have this, and, and have this, these interactions with you every day. It's not. You every day. It's regardless not. to what you may regardless think, to what you may regardless think, to how you may feel, that is not my intention. That is not my intention. Okay? I simply do I what simply I do because do I, do I do not have the understanding. Have the understanding. So if I don't understand so something, don't I'm understand going to ask a question. I'm going to ask a question. I apologize if it I makes you feel that, if it makes you feel that I'm intentionally trying to I'm delay the uh, proceedings. If, uh, proceed. if I'm intentionally trying to be disruptive, because that's not the case. Because that's not the and, case. It, and I feel very, and I feel very, 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 very disrespected, very, very disrespected every time the record is made, time the record is made making it seem like that's what I'm attempting to do. So of course it's gonna so make it's gonna frustrate. Of course it's gonna make me a little bit upset. Make me a little bit upset. And I just want you to understand and I that. I just want you to understand that. It seems to me the, way I'm, to me the way I'm interpreting what you're doing, which is it is your courtroom. It is your that's courtroom. That's not it. That's not that's a dispute. Not a, that's not, that's a not dispute. up for debate. That's not up for debate. You control what's going on you in there. That's not a dispute. That's not a dispute. But the way I'm interpreting the way I'm interpreting what you're doing is that I'm being held in that contempt. Being held that's in how contempt. I'm interpreting. That's how I'm interpreting. Because one of the three because things one of the three that's, cited that's cited in Illinois, in Illinois versus Allen, one of them is one of them is being gagged. I haven't been gagged. I haven't been gagged. One of them is held in contempt. One of them is held in contempt. If What's I'm, the third, Mr. Brooks? What's the third? The third is 
removed from the courtroom while the trial continues, right? That's the third, right? And is that's what's been done. Okay. So now, so now, where does it say after that? Where does it say after that? That that having me on a, 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 a headset or being able to see and hear and all this and this, how is that not prejudicing prejudic my defense? Sir, you can raise that even, issue on appeal. You can raise that issue on appeal if you are convicted. This is why I say that. This is why I say that, though. Because I can't even see. The only thing I can see right now when I'm looking at the TV is you and the prosecution table. I can't see anything else. I can't see anything else. I understand that, sir. I'm fully aware of that. So I'm not. I'm not fully so aware, not, of, what's going not fully aware of what's going on in the courtroom. Don't don't I deserve that right don't, to don't be I able to see and hear everything that's going on? Hear everything that's going on. If you can conduct yourself consistently with the decorum and respect inherent in the concepts of courts and judicial proceedings, the answer then is yes. So, so I'm not going to have a debate with you about the law. I will ask you again, would you like to come back into this courtroom? Are you going to kick me out? Are you going to kick me out? Sir, I'm asking the questions right now. Would you like to come back into this courtroom? Yes or no? Are you going to kick me out? Sir, it's a yes or no question. Would you like to come back into this courtroom? Well, my answer, my answer was based on the reason why I'm answering like that is because the moment I say something, it's going to get me put out. I don't want to keep hauling this stuff back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. It makes it makes essentially it wastes time, really. Wastes time, really. I'm well aware of that, sir. That it delays the proceedings. Yeah, but. But then it's but then it's laid at my feet as if that's my attempt. You think I want to be over here? You think I want to be over here? Sir, I don't know what you want or don't want at this time. I know that we need to complete this trial and that you have frustrated uh, today more than ever before the ability of this court to do that. Well, I apologize for you feeling well, that way, but I'm frustrated too. Way, but I'm frustrated nobody, too. No, nobody, nobody seems to take no, that into account. I'm just as frustrated as everybody. Probably more. Probably then I suggest more. that you conform your conduct to the requirements there of courtesy no and decorum right so that you don't run the risk of forfeiting your right to be present. But that but falls no, on you and you alone, sir. There is no conduct. That's, no I, I, don't, I don't understand what you mean by that. I really don't. Mr. Brooks, really don't. you may not understand it. I don't think that's accurate. I think you know exactly what you're doing. If that's what you think, that's fine. And I can't argue with you, you have demonstrated you throughout this case that you pay attention to witnesses' testimony, that you make cogent and coherent objections uh, at times, that you have even had evidence suppressed in this case or stricken. That's the word I used during this case. You made an opening statement. You communicate with witnesses. So Honor, you clearly read, write, and understand it's English. Not That's not an issue not, here, sir. It's it's not not Are you self-represented? Absolutely. Does that present difficulties and disadvantages? Absolutely. But that takes me back to when you waived your right to counsel. And you did so knowingly, freely, voluntarily, and with a full understanding of the disadvantages and advantages of doing so, uh, meaning advantages of having an attorney, the disadvantages of doing it on your own, and you made a deliberate decision to Your Honor, represent yourself, Your Honor, and that comes at a risk to you of, yes, at times, not fully understanding the law, the rules of evidence, the rules of procedure. But you That's do so fair. at your peril. That's not fair, That's not fair to state, Your Honor, because. So I'm going to do the following. Since I'm not really getting anywhere, I'm going to mute you for the moment. I'm not getting anywhere with him. Um, I would like him to be brought over. Um, and he has a choice to make. He can come back over or he doesn't. Either way, he's going to be asked to call a witness in front of the jury. I will ask him three times if he fails to give me a direct answer, and after the third time, I will make the appropriate 
finding, but I will do that outside the presence of the jury. But we are going to continue. So we'll go off the record and he will come back over here. Thank you. We are in recess until that happens. I mean, just 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 to say something and then get kicked out. Yeah, I, I don't know what to tell her then. I don't, uh, nah, no, because I'm gonna end up having to come back over here. And, and don't y'all get tired of ha hauling all this stuff yeah, over here, over absolutely. there, over here, over there, over there?